To change the media in a T75 flask, begin by placing the appropriate media in the warm water bath to rise the temperature of the media. The water bath should be at 37 degrees Celsius. This should take about 5 to 10 minutes. Once the media has warmed up to the appropriate temperature, begin by preparing for the biosafety cabinet. Before working in the biosafety cabinet, make sure you are wearing a laboratory coat and gloves. Make sure the blower switch and light switch are both turned on and raise the sash to the marked level line. The alarm sounding is normal and should stop after a few seconds. If the alarm is still sounding, make sure that the sash is below the sash level line. The biosafety cabinet is an area where we perform sterile cell work, therefore it is necessary to maintain proper sterile technique. Spray 70% isopropyl alcohol on your gloves and rub them together until dry. Spray the outside window of the glass and armrest and wipe down the glass and armrest with a Kim wipe. Then throw the Kim wipe away. Next, continue to spray isopropyl alcohol in the inside of the biosafety cabinet workspace and the inside window. This is a standard procedure for any work in the biosafety cabinet and it is necessary to begin all procedures in this way. Take the media bottle out and spray the entire bottle with isopropyl alcohol and wipe it down with a Kim wipe. Immediately after wiping it down, place the media bottle under the hood. It is important to note that anything that is to be used on cells must be sterile. The sterile objects are never to be opened or exposed anywhere outside the biosafety cabinet. Take out your T75 flask with cells from the incubator. Be very careful not to contaminate anything when placing or removing items from the incubator. Do not cough or sneeze in the incubator. To ensure extra caution, do not talk when the incubator door is open. You will need two 10 milliliter individually sealed pipettes. Give them a quick spray and wipe them with your hands and place them in the hood. Begin by twisting the cap of the T75 flask. Place the cap face down near the back of the incubator. Whenever there is an open container, be careful not to wave your arms or hands over the container. Now grab the 10 milliliter pipette, open it halfway, and attach it to the pipette gun, adjusting the pipette while it is still in its casing so that you can read the milliliter markings. Remove it, the wrapping, being extra careful not to touch the tip of the pipette. Carefully place the pipette into the flask, making sure the tip of the pipette does not come in contact with anything else in the hood. Aspirate all the media using the top button of the pipette gun. Take the pipette out and discard the media in the appropriate waste beaker using the bottom button of the pipette gun. Remove the pipette and place it in the appropriate waste container. Open the media bottle and attach a 10 milliliter pipette to the pipette gun and draw up 10 milliliters of warm media. Place the cap back on the media bottle to avoid contamination. Release the media into the T75 flask gently to avoid disturbing the attached cells inside. Discard the pipette, place the cap back on the flask, and tighten up the media bottle cap. Place the flask back inside the incubator. Clean up the biosafety cabinet and spray the work area using isopropyl alcohol and wiping it down with a Kim wipe. Close the sash of the hood.